In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use templates to automate the creation of our document set. I've got a blank drawing here. I've already added a sheet border or vision block to the title block. Now, all these items I've made by default so that I can reuse them from design to design. I don't have to recreate them each time. But I want to go further than that. I want to add additional items to my drawing so I don't have to recreate them each time. So, I'm just going to simply drop some fabrication notes in here. I'm going to put a placeholder here for my uh, drill pattern, my drill chart, same idea, and even a layer stack up. So I'm going to put all these uh, and just kind of arrange them freely on my drawings. I can always come back in here and place them in the exact location once they're populated. But this was the first page of my fab drawing, and if you look at my template set here, I've got a, a panel drawing here that I've already started with mill tab details, drill charts, fiducial locations, uh, twin hole locations. I've got a, an assembly drawing with a top and a bottom side view. I've even got a variant drawing in case we have variants along with a variant list and a parts list drawing. So I can have all these in my templates, and then by just simply importing the data, It will populate my templates, and I'm well on my way to creating my document set. As you can see, it started to uh, populate uh, the various drawings here. If I want to move anything around, I just simply grab it and move it. Um, some other things you might notice is that um, I had this set up to scale this at 2 to 1 automatically. I don't have to do it after the fact. I can always scale my uh, panel drawings or my drill patterns if I want to, to make them more legible. As I said before, my panel drawing, I've already got some fiducial locations and tooling hole locations already defined. I've got drill chart defined, and I've even got a mill tab detail in case I add mill tabs to this design. My assembly drawing, I have a top side view, a bottom side view, automatically populated, bottom side view, automatically mirrored. If I had uh, any variants in here, I could turn those on as well as turn it on the variant list here. And I've got my parts list already populated from the CAD data. So just by importing the data, we're already well along with creating our document set and just some cleanup, and we'll be done with our document set. And this is how you use templates in Blueprint to create your document set.